Well, are you scared yet? Central bank digital currencies. What about digital gold and digital silver? Are you one of those precious metals enthusiasts who lives by the mantra, if I don't hold it, I don't own it, right? There's a lot of credence in that statement. But, but I think we need to consider in particular when we look at the exciting prospect of digital gold and digital silver, that this new technology, this new area that we're moving into, and it is probably inevitable, guys, that it could actually result in massive price appreciation for silver and for gold. I'm going to lay it out for you in a real simple four-step terms, and we're going to see how this could actually be a good thing for those of us that hold actual physical precious metals. Let's get started right now. Do you know Randy Smallwood? He's well known within the precious metals community. CEO of Wheaton Precious Metals, used to be Wheaton Silver. And Randy is the chairman of the World Gold Council. I was listening to him last night and he talked about how digital gold in particular is a real thing and that it is coming, that it'll be easily divisible, that it'll be trackable, that it'll be reliable, that it will likely be even regulated. And it got me thinking, is that good for the price of silver and gold or bad? And it became crystal clear to me that it would actually be very good for gold. Let's talk about these four steps that I see happening. And I want to hear what you think about this and how we could see $10,000 gold easily. The first thing, number one, that we need to consider is that the world is de-dollarizing. Even Goldman Sachs has recognized that. The world is moving away from the dollar. Central banks bought a record amount of gold last year. And what's even more key to remember in this is as the world moves away from the dollar, they aren't going to be moving toward another currency, right? Other currencies are just as bad as the dollar. Remember Exter's pyramid, that inverted pyramid that at the base of all money is silver and gold. What's going to happen, guys, is the world is going to start looking around for its option. And what it's seeing is, let's go back to the basics, right? Back to basics. And the basics are silver and gold. And that drives home point number two. The world will revert back to silver and gold as a store of value. Now, I quickly want to mention my sponsor who makes this video possible. First Mining Gold. They're a Canadian gold developer. They have two world-class projects in Canada, okay, both with 5 million or more ounces in resources. If you want to check out a company that's got a lot of gold and in the ground, they've already discovered it, check out First Mining Gold. I'm going to put a link to the company's website below and an email address to Paul, who you can email. He's the Director of Investor Relations if you have any questions about the company. Point number three. As the world reverts to precious metals as a store of value, look, we're not going to want to walk around with these trying to pay for lunch. The world will want a more modern way to use gold and silver to deal with everyday transactions. And electronic gold and electronic silver will be the solution to that problem. Something that's trackable, something that's absolutely backed up by physical metal, but the metal's not going to need to move around, right? It's the future. It's going to happen. But point number four, and that's where it gets real exciting and really fun for those of us who do hold precious metals, is it would re result in a massive increase in demand for the metals. OK, remember, a lot of the other make believe fiat currencies of the world, they won't be viewed as uh, as as an effective store of value. And as more and more money 
gets diverted toward the metals, right? As this all plays out, it could be explosive for the price of gold and the price of silver. We can only dream of how high the precious metals could go. Hey, one thing for sure, it's going to be super interesting. I appreciate you joining me here in the basement. Let me know what you think. I always want your comments, your criticisms. Leave them in the comment section below. But most important, have a good day. And until next time, you, yes, you, be well.